Hello and welcome back yet again to this episode of Rad BMX Builds. I got something a little different this time. I'm gonna give you a few updates and then show you some really rad parts that came out by Pork Chop. And I'm gonna use those parts to update probably four or five of my bikes. So I'm gonna show you those, but first off, the update. My 1979 Eddie King Torker and my 1991 RL320 Redline were shipped off today to Ernie's 80s Bike Shop. So they're going off for powder and they're gonna come back and you'll see the color when they get back and then we're gonna decal and build those bikes. So really excited about that, a collab with Ernie uh, to highlight some of his powder coating skills on two really rad custom bikes that we're gonna build. Now, what are we gonna do with these parts from Pork Shop? What I got are the brand new released GT Dyno seats that Pork Chop just dropped. I bought a whole bunch of them, definitely not one in every color, but I bought some for the bikes in my collection. I have a black dyno, a white dyno, a bunch of GTs, so I thought, let's upgrade some seats. Let me show you the seats I got from Pork Chop. The hardest to find is blue, right? So I got a blue one for my Mach 1. I got two black ones for the GT 50th anniversary bike. The white one, I don't quite know what I'm gonna do with. The white dyno seat is for my 89 VFR, and the black dyno seat is for my 24 inch Dyno Pro Comp. So these seats were just released from porkchopbmx.com. Now, let's pull out the bikes and show you what they look like now. Then we're gonna do a seat upgrade on those bikes I just talked about. Okay, and there it is, the first seat install, and I put it on the GT 50th anniversary prototype bike because it is just Perfect. So a brand new seat on a brand new bike, but an old school look. I absolutely love this idea. About time somebody did this. It looks perfect on there. Now I can finally say this bike is 100% complete. Love this bike, so cool. Okay, there's that seat. Let's grab another one and update a second bike. Okay, since we're talking 50th anniversary bikes, this is my GT 50th anniversary stamped rad BMX for a serial number, so true one of one. Which seat should I put on it? The black one or the white one? I know you're thinking white, but honestly with the black tires, black grips, I think the right choice is gonna be black. I can always change it out later, but let's take off this Velo SE seat and put on the black GT seat. Okay, and there it is, just like that. The black GT seat is right where it belongs at home on the GT 50th anniversary bike. And I really like the black. I know you're thinking, man, that white would look good too, but I'm all about balance. And with having black tires, black grips, and all these little black accents, I think black is the way to go for that seat. Let's do the blue one. That's the one I've been waiting for the most. So let's get the bike that the blue one's gonna go on. That's right, the 1988 GT Mach 1 already has a blue Velo seat, but the blue GT seat's just gonna look that much better on this bike. I absolutely love the direction this bike went. The colors and everything are perfect, and I think that seat is gonna be the crown jewel for this awesome looking beach vibe blue and white bike. So let's throw that on there. And bam, just like that, the 1988 GT looks proper with the GT wing seat. And that blue on this bike is absolutely perfect. Man, I, I just, this is one of my favorite 80s bikes that I have in the collection. It's just so clean and that seat, perfect. The icing on top, the crown jewel, the blue GT seat is rad. All right, next one up, 
Probably the black dino seat. All right, you're thinking, Sean, it already has a black dino seat. But you can see this one's pretty rashed up. This is an OG dino seat. And if you know me, you know my builds. I want them to be pristine. I want them to look brand new. And this bike looks new and the seat looks old. So these are officially licensed products. These are not fakes or knockoffs. These are brand new seats that are officially licensed to be made. So I'm gonna replace this old one with a brand new one. And it's just gonna look so much better. So much better. All right, let's do a quick swap. And bam, just like that, out with the old, in with the new, and a brand new seat, finally, on this bike. That's the third seat I've put on this bike, and finally, it's right. It looks so good there. What do you think about that? I am so stoked that Porkchop came out with these seats, obviously, because I went absolutely nuts and bought a ton of them. But I have one more to put on, this white dino seat. And I happen to have an all-white dyno. Let's go check that out. Okay, here it is, the 1989 Dyno VFR. So much dyno parts on this bike, it only seemed right to finally get a white dyno seat. And to be perfectly honest, I wasn't gonna pay these crazy people on eBay for an old seat that's probably faded and gross and cracked. Now we get a brand new licensed dyno seat to match this brilliant white on this 89 VFR. Let's take this seat and swap it out with a brand new one. And finally, the proper seat for that bike. Man, now it's complete. There's a few things that I didn't have when I first pho uh, photographed this bike and did the video on it. Like it had all silver pedals before and I finally found some of some white cages. So that's an update and now the missing puzzle piece, an all white, brand new dyno seat. It's got dyno pegs, the UL brake guard, dyno pads, the UL number plate, dyno number. This bike is absolutely one of my favorites. This is a 1989 VFR, the very first year dyno made a VFR. So as you can see, these seats are absolutely perfect. They are an amazing addition. If you have an older bike and you like to make them new like I do, get over to Porkchop BMX, check out all their seats. They're coming in all kinds of colors. Every color GT ever made, you might have seen it in the recent video I did, but they're in green, I believe orange, pink, like all kinds of crazy colors. So I bought what I needed for my collection. Maybe one extra because you just never know, but I hope you like it. Get over there, check them out. I hope you like the additions to the collection. I'm always trying to get these bikes just to the next level, add on parts when I see them come in. So if you like that kind of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching and keeping up with me. And as always, stay rad.